Ladies and gentlemen, the first, the opening series of the DK High Caliber Cup that is going to be between the player in the top left side, Sickest, and his opponent, the player in the bottom right side, Kossit. Both players playing for Team Sentinels of Mirage, Team Sentir. And both players are, are quite decent. Um, we've seen Cosset play a bit uh, last week, actually, when I was casting with with Thomas, aka Nova Wolfen. But Cosset was playing Terran, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe Zerg. I, I, no, actually, he was playing Terran. I I'm pretty sure he was playing Terran. Yeah, so. This time around, he's playing the main race, so we have a bit of a Masters border that was actually uh, showcased on the loading screen. We have a full wall on the side of Sickest. It's going to make sure that Cosset cannot gain the information about a double gas opener. And we are going to have the Reaper followed up by potentially a marine or maybe straight up a reactor these things are always super standard as we have Cosset going for the standard one gate expand core before nexus now uh, the only thing i don't like is that there's no reaper wall being made and that could have been uh, quite a decent addition just to not uh, let the reaper slip away as the Reaper will uh, move out. We're going to have a couple of nice, nice things over here. All right, so. We will see the Reaper arrive. And it's actually quite nice because uh, Sickest is going to go in from. Oh, never mind. He's going to go in from the other side oh, i'm curious what he sees here oh that's beautiful from sickest honestly this is quite crazy he, he managed to just get away because it is actually a bit late on this uh, warp gate he kind of forgot about it so bit of a mistake there but it's all good nothing uh too bad to to think about now the other side we're gonna have a mind drop coming up from sickest of course, the command center is coming up on the high ground. And we are having a bit of a supply block on the side of Sickest. That is actually not a bit, but actually huge. Hellion is going to move across. But I don't think there's going to be anything to do here with that Hellion. Oh, that Hellion might even just go down, honestly. Okay, beautiful stuff. He saw the, the Stargate, I believe. Potentially. Yeah, saw the Stargate and also saw that an Oracle is producing. Wait, sorry. Did he see? Is this an Oracle at, after all or not? That's what I want to know. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure when he saw that. I believe he saw the Oracle, but he doesn't know that it's a Phoenix follow-up. So would have been quite nice to actually see. We have the tech lab. Oh, ho, 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 I heard it. I heard that one all around the world. That is beautiful. The three adepts are going to try to go in, but he's going to raise the depots. He has to finish these, right? Does he? He's going to finish them. I'm not even sure if that was a good, uh, a good strategy here from Cosset. Okay. And I believe we're going to see the, the medevac drop those mines. Oh, and this is a, a real phoenix. Sickest is going to realize. And the phoenix is going down. I'm not sure what Cosset is doing, but Sickest is actually dominating in this first game. Which is quite wild, honestly, considering that Cosset is, I believe, Masters 2. Am I crazy? I, I think I saw Masters 2. And I don't think I it's a Zerg or... Or, or Terran, right? I mean, definitely not the Terran, because you have to use that to play in, in the DK Weekly last week on Saturday. By the way, tomorrow I am going to cast that as well. So, be sure to tune in to uh, that tournament as well. Make sure to register, come and play, 
some fun StarCraft, obviously. Alright, couple of gateways coming up for, for Cosset. As both... Uh, actually, both Stargate units have gone down. And now Cosset needs to... Oh, managed to actually deal with these beautiful stuff here. Okay. Beautifully dealt with. Zero damage taken. Not even a single probe to draw the attention of the mines. And this is quite wild. We have Banshee Cloak. This is going to be... Uh, quite painful for Sickus though, because now that I realize, okay, he's gonna be able to poke into the third, and that is pretty much it, right? I mean, oh, he's actually taking the super long route. It could be okay, there's not gonna be a, a shield battery in time, I believe. Maybe it's gonna be in time. Maybe. Oh, this is actually crazy. Sickus is just taking the longest route possible to, to cause his base. And I'm not sure if that is the, the correct call here. But in the meantime, we have the Phoenixes just marching around. Obviously, you kind of want to, to have a Robo. We don't have a Robo. We have a Forge, though. Okay. Oh, that is going to be so painful. And it's going to be able to actually harass with this continuously. We cannot go into the, into the natural, though. I mean, it can go into the natural, but it has to take down the Stalker. Has to take down a couple of uh, things. Okay, nicely done here by Sickest. Oh, Cosset. Cosset is actually. Oh, it doesn't realize. Doesn't realize that the Banshees have Cloak. Now he's going to pay for it. Two, potentially three if he can line it up. Nicely done here. Oh, it battery overcharge. Cosset forgot that. Actually, battery overcharge doesn't really help against this. It's gonna have. A Robo finishing up and it's gonna have Storm finishing up, most importantly. What a banger of a first game, to be honest. Sickest is playing out of his mind. He's uh, continuously harassing. Oh, he needs to get away, he needs to get away. <coughs> Once again, some moves actually question my sanity. Ooh! Tank Mind Drop. This is a new one. Well, not a tank mind drop, but. Second tank and, and two mines coming in. Now, I'm not sure if Sickest realized that this is a... This actually... Uh, what you call it? A, a charge charge play over here. Not a blink play. Gonna have potentially Colossi. Maybe Disruptors. Fourth base on the way. Third base just now landing for Sickest. Oh, he's gonna try to actually get these... Oh, these Zealots down. Storm onto those mines, but also onto his own zealots. Let's see if he has what it takes. Oh, he's going to clean up everything over here. Beautiful stuff. He's going to clean up the phoenixes as well. I'm not sure if this is the correct call from Cossack, honestly. He doesn't really have enough, and he's going to lose those zealots. The tank is going to go down to the other tank's uh, friendly fire. This is what it is. Happens to the best. He's going to target down the shield battery, obviously. He has plus one infantry weapons already finished. A cannon will stop him in his tracks. He's going to go for the Phoenix. Oh, he's going to try to protect his medevac. That is going to stay alive. Now, Sickest is actually going to try and kite back as much as possible. Fresh infantry incoming for Sickest. Going to have to drop out all of these. Potentially just... Uh, he lost. I think he lost uh, the tank. I'm pretty sure he lost the tank. Sorry about that. Yep, lost two tanks. Once again, he's going to move up that ramp or potentially try to do so. Terran actually has such small units that it's actually not bad to move up there. Because you can concentrate your fire uh, at one place. And especially now that you know that there's no storm. This is actually crazy good. A Colossus will actually be a big threat over here. Gonna have to uh, put the Marauders in front. Beautiful mine, mine uh, control over there by Zikas. It's going to just uh, take down a couple of those Zealots. And Cosset is still not out of the water yet. But the Archon will make it so it's much, much easier. Now, neither player has lost uh, significant amounts of, of workers. I don't think Cosset lost... Uh, he lost 11 workers, so... Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, those two Banshees are quite crazy uh, when they are unscouted and they have uh, no counter prepared, so, yep. 
We can't so was forced, right? No, actually, oh, that was a kill on this Nexus. Okay, so that's uh, even bigger of an issue. It's gonna have a single zealot just scouting where this army is going. Potentially gonna drop into the main base. Uh, my question would be how is he going to do that i suppose we're going to see some multitasking we have a viking on the left side no viking on the right side but we have three medevacs worth of units and i believe he can just uh drop into the main that could be the the right call we have the boys being pulled oh but is this going to be great oh he's going to go and try and tank oh baits out the storm that's not bad second mine will not fall before it's firing so it's gonna have to pull the boys back actually it's gonna unpower one gateway already he could go for the stemplar the stemplar have no energy to storm actually one more oh actually that is great for sickest it's gonna have to kite back as well let's see what he can still do here there is no full energy templar there's no blink actually there is blink but there's no not enough stalkers this is a super zealot heavy army and let's see oh sickest is a long way from home he's actually need to be careful he doesn't have any tanks i believe oh no this is gonna be uh quite dangerous he's gonna build that on location okay he's going to burn the storm on the sickest Ooh, catches some of those marauders question is oh on to the workers instantly 12 workers evaporate just out of nowhere and sickest will try to do something here but does he have enough firepower he already lost tech lab onto that barracks and cause it is just storming him to death does he have enough sickest in the meantime has a counter attack we're gonna try to peek at it in just a moment Okay, he's trying to micro his heart out, but he's going to leave something behind. And looks like Cosset will take him down. 